Hello everyone. This is my first lecture on first year complementary mathematics paper based on the syllabus of Calicut University. In this lecture, we will discuss about the topic average velocity. Uh, introduction to the derivative. This is the first section of your syllabus. Okay. This section introduces the basic idea of derivative. The basic idea of derivative by analyzing two problems. By analyzing two problems. First problem is the problem of finding the velocity. First problem is the problem of finding the velocity of a moving object. Okay. And the second problem is uh, finding the slope of uh, the tangent line. Slope of the tangent line uh, to a given curve. Okay. So these are the uh, two problems we, we will discuss in this section introduction to the derivative. To analyze velocity, uh, imagine a bus which is traveling along a straight path. Okay. Let this be uh, the starting point of the bus. Let this be the bus. Okay. Uh, we can denote x uh, uh, for the time. That is x, x denote the time in seconds and y be uh, the distance traveled by bus in meters. Okay, that is the distance in meters. Either e or point on a starting point in the area. This is the starting point of the bus. Okay, so uh, suppose uh, after x seconds, uh, let y be the uh, the distance traveled by the bus after x seconds. So we know uh, the distance y is depends on the time x, right? So we can write y is equal to some function of x. Y equal to f of x. X x in the world time ne uh, y depend on that. That is time vary change in the that is why bus move it to that. After time uh, x seconds, the bus will uh, moves. Uh, y meters okay so this is the uh, distance y okay after time x seconds okay so we can represent y as a function of x for example uh, y equal to some uh, x plus 2 okay so uh, after uh, x equal to 2 seconds after x equal to 2 seconds we have uh, the bus covers uh, the distance uh, 2 plus 2 meters that is 4 meters right at a given moment uh, the velocity of the bus is a definite physical quantity which is measured in meters per second since this velocity uh, refers to a single instant uh, this velocity is called instantaneous velocity instantaneous velocity Now our question is, uh, for a given uh, distance function y equal to f of x, how to find the instantaneous velocity uh, at a given instant x or at a given time x? Okay, That is the question we need to answer now. Okay, So uh, consider uh, the distance function y equal to f of x. Now we are measuring uh, the distance at the point uh, x0. Uh, or at the time x0 and uh, at a later time x. So let x0 be uh, a time. Uh, at this time, uh, let uh, the distance be y0 is equal to f of x0. That is this, the, the distance covered uh, uh, after x0 seconds is y0 is equal to f of x0. And at a later time x, uh, the distance covered by the bus is y equal to f of x okay so this is the uh, the time x naught and this is the time the later time x okay let uh, this uh, interval or the, this distance be delta x that means delta x is equal to x minus x naught let delta x is equal to x minus x naught so uh, the distance uh, traveled by the bus 
in this elapsed time uh, delta x or so this this interval of time is nothing but y minus y naught for delta y is equal to y minus y naught which is nothing but y is equal to f of x minus f of x naught okay so uh, here we are you, we are supposed that uh, at the point x naught uh, the distance traveled by bus is y naught is equal to f of x naught and at the point x or at the time x the distance traveled by the bus is y equal to f of x so uh, we are finding or we are trying to find the distance traveled by the bus in this interval okay we are assuming that this interval is uh, delta x is equal to x minus x naught and in this elapsed interval uh, the distance traveled by bus is delta y which is y minus y naught clear apo e samayathinullile bus travel cheda allengil ee oru elapsed time interval nullile bus travel cheda distance anandu delta y and denote the which is nothing but y minus y naught that is f of x minus f of x naught okay now so we have delta x is equal to x minus x naught and delta y equal to y minus y naught now the average velocity is average velocity average velocity is actually defined simply as the distance traveled divided by the elapsed time that is distance traveled is delta y that is delta y divided by the elapsed time is delta x so the average velocity is actually defined by the distance traveled uh, divided by uh, the elapsed time okay so this is equal to we have uh, delta y is nothing but f of x minus f of x naught divided by delta x okay where uh, uh, we also know that uh, delta x is equal to x minus x naught so we can also write this as this f of we have this uh, uh, delta x is equal to x minus x naught so x is equal to delta x plus x naught so we can write this minus uh, f of x naught divided by delta x so this is the average velocity all right now we can discuss uh, an example the example is a bus travels 2x square meters in x seconds find delta x delta y and the average velocity for the following situations the first is x not equal to 3 x equal to 4 second one is x not equal to 3 x is equal to 3.1 and x not equal to third one is x not equal to 3 and the later time is x is equal to 3.01 okay so here first uh, in the first question uh, here we have to find delta x delta y and the average velocity okay so here first we have in the first question we have we are given uh, x naught is the point 3 this is x naught and x is the point uh, 4 so this this is the x equal to 4 okay so uh, while we are answering this uh, here uh, we are given that but the bus travels 2x square meters in x seconds so we can uh, uh, since function as y equal to f of x which is equal to 2x square right so x maru nen anusarich y maru okay so therefore uh, here in, in the first question we already know that uh, we are given that x not equal to 3 and x equal to 4 so uh, delta x is equal to you know x minus x naught that is e distance ana e, e, e time interval ana varanadu this is time time x in seconds right so e time interval ana varanadu delta x nu varanadu so that is x minus x naught which is 4 minus 1 uh, sorry 4 minus 3 that is equal to 1 so delta x is equal to 1 and delta y is equal to we know that delta y is f of x plus delta x minus f of x that is here uh, f of x naught plus delta x uh, minus f of x naught right so that is delta y that is uh, this is equal to f of x naught plus delta x is nothing but we have uh, x here x naught equal to 3 and x, x equal to 4 so x naught plus delta x is therefore uh, x naught plus delta x is equal to uh, uh, 4 right clear that is x 
so uh, so here we have uh, f of x naught plus delta x minus f of x naught is f of 4 minus f of 3 because x naught equal to 3 so this is nothing but we have f of x equal to x square so this is equal to 2 into uh, 4 square minus 2 into 3 square so this is equal to 2 into 16 that is uh, 32 minus 2 into 9 that is 18 okay so i get 14 as the answer now average velocity is delta y divided by delta x which is nothing but delta y is 14 divided by uh, delta x is 1 which is equal to 14 clear so that is the average velocity uh, in this interval that is x naught equal to 3 to x equal to 4 clear that is uh, meter per seconds next second question is uh, x naught equal to 3 and uh, x is equal to uh, 3.1 right 3.1 so we have so actually uh, this is x for the first interval is uh, in first interval delta x is this and in the second question uh, we reduce the uh, length of this interval that is this is the point 3.1 this is x now okay so interval and the number of the other path to the other in the interval the path to the other for sure that x number x not like a third degree can okay so in that case uh, we get delta x is equal to x minus x naught which is equal to 3 minus 1 minus uh, 3 which is equal to 0 0.1 okay correspondingly we will get uh, delta y we know f of x naught plus delta x that is f of 3.1 here from this we get uh, uh, x naught plus delta x is equal to uh, what this is for uh, 3.1 is it okay so this is f of 3.1 minus uh, f of x naught f of x naught is f of 3 so this is equal to uh, f of 3.1 is 2 into 3.1 all square minus uh, f of 3 is uh, 2 into 3 square because f of x is equal to 2x square right so this is equal to uh, 2 can be taken outside so 2 into 3.1 all square minus 3 square is 9 so this is equal to we'll get uh, 1.22 okay you can just verify that okay so delta y equal to this therefore the average velocity average velocity is equal to delta y divided by delta x which is easy equal to 1.22 divided by uh, delta x is 0 0.1 this is equal to 12.2 meter per seconds okay so we obtained this as the average velocity in the second interval that is when we take x not equal to 3 and x equal to 3.1 okay now what about the third question third question is x not equal to 3 and x equal to 3.01 that means we lowers uh, or decreases uh, the length of the uh, interval delta x further that is uh, 3.01 will be like the here okay this point okay so we are we again decreased okay so this will be the point uh, 3.01 so in that case we get uh, x not equal to 3 and x is equal to 3.01 therefore we have delta x is equal to x minus x naught that is 3.01 minus 3 which is equal to 0 0.01 okay therefore we get uh, x naught plus delta x is equal to 3.01 from this and delta y is equal to f of x naught plus delta x that is f of x naught plus delta x is 3.01 minus f of uh, x naught that is 3 okay so from this we get uh, this is equal to that is uh, what was that 2 into x square right 2 into 3.01 all square minus 2 into 3 square okay which is equal to uh, 0 0.1202 you can verify that and the average velocity is nothing but delta y divided by delta x which is equal to 0 0.1202 divided by delta x is 0. 01 which is equal to 12.02 meter per second okay so actually ibada nammal cheyidunnadu cheyyanale 
ഫസ്റ്റ് പ്രോബ്ലത്തിൽ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഫസ്റ്റ് എക്സാമ്പിൾ നമ്മൾ പറഞ്ഞത് ഡെൽറ്റ എക്സ് എന്തായിരുന്നു ഡെൽറ്റ എക്സ് വൺ ആയിരുന്നു രണ്ടാമത്തെ എക്സാമ്പിൾ ഡെൽറ്റ എക്സ് സീറോ പോയിന്റ് വൺ ആയി മൂന്നാമത്തെ എക്സാമ്പിൾ ഡെൽറ്റ എക്സ് സീറോ പോയിന്റ് സീറോ വൺ ആയി അതായത് നമ്മൾ എക്സ് നോട്ട് ഫിക്സ് ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ടായിരുന്നു എക്സ് എന്ത് ചെയ്തു നമ്മൾ ഫോറിൽ നിന്ന് രണ്ട് ആദ്യം ത്രീ പോയിന്റ് വണ്ണിലേക്ക് കൊടുക്കുന്നു ദെൻ ത്രീ പോയിന്റ് സീറോ വണ്ണിലേക്ക് കൊടുക്കുന്നു എക്സെട്ര സോ ഫസ്റ്റ് കേസിൽ ഡെൽറ്റ ത്രീ എക്സ് ഈക്വൽ ഫോർ ആയ സമയത്ത് നമുക്ക് കിട്ടിയ ആവറേജ് വെലോസിറ്റി ഫോർട്ടീൻ മീറ്റർ പെർ സെക്കൻഡ് ആയിരുന്നു ദെൻ രണ്ടാമത്തെ കേസിൽ വെൻ എക്സ് ഇസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു സീറോ പോയിന്റ് ത്രീ പോയിന്റ് വൺ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് വെൻ ഡെൽറ്റ എക്സ് ഇസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു സീറോ പോയിന്റ് വൺ വി വിൽ ഗെറ്റ് വി ഒബ്ടെയിൻ ദാറ്റ് ദി ആവറേജ് വെലോസിറ്റി ഈസ് ട്വൽവ് പോയിന്റ് ടു ഓക്കെ ഫോർട്ടീനിൽ നിന്ന് ട്വൽവ് പോയിന്റ് ടു ആക്കി കുറഞ്ഞു വീണ്ടും നമ്മൾ എക്സ് നമ്മൾ എക്സ് നോട്ടിലേക്ക് അപ്രോച്ച് ചെയ്തുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കുന്ന സമയത്ത് ഓക്കെ അതായത് സീറോ പോയിന്റ് സീറോ വൺ ആയി ഡെൽറ്റ എക്സ് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ എക്സിന്റെ വാല്യൂ സീറോ പോയിന്റ് ത്രീ പോയിന്റ് സീറോ വൺ ആയ സമയത്ത് നമുക്ക് കിട്ടിയ ആവറേജ് വെലോസിറ്റി എന്തായിരുന്നു ട്വൽവ് പോയിന്റ് സീറോ ടു മീറ്റർ പെർ സെക്കൻഡ് ആണ് അതായത് വീണ്ടും ഇതിൽ നിന്നും വളരെ കുറഞ്ഞു ഓക്കെ ദി നെക്സ്റ്റ് ടോപ്പിക് വി ഹാവ് ടു ഡിസ്കസ് ഇസ് ഹൗ ടു ഫൈൻഡ് ദി ഇൻസ്റ്റന്റേനിയസ് വെലോസിറ്റി ഓഫ് ദിസ് ഡിസ്റ്റൻസ് ഫംഗ്ഷൻ എഫ് ഓഫ് എക്സ് ഈക്വൽ ടു ടു എക്സ് സ്ക്വയർ അറ്റ് ദി പോയിന്റ് എക്സ് നോട്ട് ഈക്വൽ ടു ത്രീ ഓക്കെ അതാണ് നമുക്ക് ഇനി പറയാനുള്ളത് how to find the instantaneous velocity at the point x not equal to 3 that we can discuss uh, in the next lecture so before that uh, i will give you some uh, problems regarding the average velocity you just uh, try to find the answers okay uh, so you try these questions okay <laughs> 